In this demonstration, we're going to see how to manage applications and environments. Now, in our lab environment here, we have an installation of CA Release Automation. And inside of it, we have defined an application called Financial Services. And you can see that in this particular case, it is the only one that we have for now. So that's what I want to do is I want to import the financial services application into CA Release Automation Continuous Delivery Edition. In addition to that, I can see that the financial services application has three environments connected to it, a development environment, a production environment, and a QA environment. And so I want all three of these to come in with the application. So let's see how to do that. It is important to remember that what makes this work is two things. Number one is I have a release automation plugin installed here. That's done. I have pointed at the RA instance using what's called an endpoint. So that's our release automation on the RA server machine. And now I can go to applications and environments and add the financial services application. Now to do that, CA Release Automation Continuous Delivery Edition thinks of that as an external application. So I'll click Add External Application and I'll tell it that it's coming from that endpoint, RA on RA Server. Now what will happen is that every application and connected environment that it finds in that instance of RA will be imported. So you can see, now we see financial services with all three of the environments that we saw over there in CA Release Automation. So this is successful. This is exactly what I wanted. Now you may have additional applications you don't have deployment set up for in CA Release Automation but you still want to track releases to those applications here in CA Release Automation Continuous Delivery Edition. In order to do that, we can create what's called a local application. Now, this does not give us the ability to have automated deployment tasks, but we can set up other kinds of tasks that either are manual or maybe are based on uh, RESTful services or maybe we're making calls out to our ALM software, whatever it happens to be. So I can add that, and what we're going to set up here is one called email services. And I'll add that. Now keep in mind that it will want to know, do you have any environments for that? So when you do scheduling, we can see that reflected on the calendar and so forth in terms of which environments are being affected. So I'm going to add that. And it immediately gives me a place now to add the fact that I've got, yep, I've got a dev environment, I've got a QA environment, and I've got a production environment, just like I did for financial services. So now I can set up releases then for either or both of these applications. Mm -hmm.